everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am very happy to be back for a new makeup video for you today. Today I wanted to play with glitters and with colors. So I decided to use again for the second time on YouTube of course because I'm using it a lot uh, for my makeup look. This Estée Lauder by Violet collection. I already did a video regarding this collection. I will link it down below if you want to have a look. And today I wanted to play with this pink, but so I only played with two colors. This pink, so it's glitters, basically, pink glitters, and with this warm bronze that I applied on my lower lash line before to apply the glitter on the top. So to use this eyeshadow, it's a creamy eyeshadow, it's between the powder and the cream. I apply it with my finger, it's the best way to apply it if you try to grab this eyeshadow with a brush you won't get enough formula but if you apply with your finger you will see that you really can grab the glitters and the colors and apply it so easily all over your lid and it's much easier to use your fingers and your brush so that's why I did that today I really wanted to push the color and the glitters all over my lid and you will see that I had no fallout under my eyes which is great for my complexion I wanted a clean base so when you are doing such a such a look such a statement I would say on your eyes you need a clean face so I correct my face you don't need a ton of foundation but just a, just enough amount to correct your complexion and to have nice complexion uh, on my cheeks I wanted something more bronze because it's summer so I played with my Laura Mercier uh, bronze powder that I really love and on top of this bronzer I applied this blush so it's winter bloom blush it looks a little bit in a, on the cool side I would say on camera but on my cheeks it really bring me this um, this bronze effect that I want when I want only you know a bronze face a summer face I would say and on my lips, I stayed pretty bare. I applied this Poesy uh, Lipstick Envy, Pure Color Envy Lipstick from Estée Lauder. So it's also from the collection Violet with Estée Lauder, so the Poppy Sauvage collection. Violet says that it's the perfect pink for all uh, skin type. And it's true that you can really wear it uh, on an everyday basis. It works for my fair skin, but it also works for an olive skin or more matte skin. So it's a good lipstick. Violet uses it on her cheeks too. I prefer to use a powder blush because I can get oily, but if you have a normal skin or if you love a creamy blush, lipsticks can be great blush too. So if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look, just keep on watching. I start with my Guerlain Lingerie de Peau Aqua Nude Foundation. I have the shade number 02. I really love this foundation because it's a light to medium coverage, so it's not too intense on my face. I don't really feel it. I really build it really gently with my brush, and if I want to cover some blemishes, as usual, I will use a concealer for that. This foundation is a water base, so it's great for my combination skin it's not too rich i don't get oily with this foundation that's why i really like it to cover my blemishes i'm using as usual my laura mercier secret camouflage in the shade sc3 and i'm using a little um, pencil brush so really a detailed brush and i will go all over my little scars or pigmentation and if there is a bigger area of my skin that i want to cover i'm using a fluffy brush uh, that I use on my eyes also, but I also love to use them for my skin. To conceal my under eyes, I love my Laura Mercier Secret Concealer in the shade 2. It's one of my favorite, favorite concealer. I love to apply it with my finger or with a flat brush. Um, as I'm doing today. I love to use it in my inner corner and I go up a little bit with my brush because I love to add some light in this area of my eyes. I really prefer to have some light in my inner corner of my eyes than to cover 
all my under eyes. I don't want people to see that I have some concealer or some product on my skin. So I really prefer to work on my skin this way to make sure I have a natural finish. For my brows, I'm using my Zoeva eyebrow pencil. I really love this eyebrow pencil. For me, it's really the same kind of brow pencil than Anastasia Beverly Hills, for example. So there is a tiny pencil that I use at the beginning of my brows where I miss some hair. I really brush uh, my brows with this pencil to make sure I will have a natural effect. I don't want a line. I don't want to create a full shape for my brows. I really don't like that. I really love to to keep something very natural. It's not a shape. Actually, it's more how to equilibrate and how to make sure my brows look the same together. To set my brows, I love to use this Bobbi Brown eyebrow shaper in the shade Mahogany. So I love to use it basically to set my brows and uh, to brush them one last time. To start my eye look, I love to use my Giorgio Armani eye tint. I have the shade 27 today. So the eye tint from Armani are one of my favorite, favorite product from this brand. It's very easy to use. It's a cool tone texture, like a gel for your eyelid. So you apply it with uh, the applicator, which is like a gloss applicator. And after you can build the shape you want with your finger. So I'm using today, as I told you, the Estee Lauder and Violet uh, palette for the spring collection. And I grab the pink glitter that I can find on this palette and I really push the glitters with my finger all over my lid. I really follow my lid. I don't try to create another shape and to finish the eyelid look I use a tiny fluffy brush just to make sure on the edges of my lids everything is well blended and I don't have a too harsh line. And if I need to correct some part of my eyes, I love to use the Muji cotton pad, which are so tiny and I love to use them for every step of my makeup. And you always can go back like here with a little bit of concealer on your concealer brush if you need to correct some stuff on your makeup. And on my lower lash line, I'm using this warm brown shade to create a shadow underneath my eyes, basically. I really love to create a shadow. I really feel that it will add some deepness to your eyes and to the eye look. That's why I love to do that. And because those pink eyes are very, very strong, I'm using my Touche Clair from Yves Saint Laurent to add more light on the top of my cheekbones because I really, really want a nice skin. And if you're tired, um, and you're doing this look and your skin is not well done, you can look more tired. So always make sure you correct your under eyes and you add some light. So basically in your inner corner, around your nose, if you have a little bit of redness and also around my lips before to apply some lipsticks because uh, most of the time you can be a little bit red around your lips. So make sure you correct this redness or the shadow that you can have around your lips every time before to apply some lipstick. I will curl my lashes with my eyelash curler from Bobbi Brown as usual because I really have straight lashes. And for mascara, I'm using my Giorgio Armani Black Ecstasy Mascara. It's really an all-in-one mascara. I really love it because it's not too intense, but the job is done very well. My lashes are very black. I have a little bit of volume. I have some nice curve on my lashes and it does the job very well. It's a very, very, very well uh, all-in-one mascara that you can use on an everyday basis. To set my face, I'm using my Dior Skin Forever and Ever Control Loose Powder in the shade 01. So it's a transparent uh, mattifying loose powder and I love to apply it with a tiny flat brush like I'm doing right now. <laughs> and I always start with uh, my T-zone where I get oily basically. And after I will apply it a little bit where I conceal my face to make sure my secret camouflage doesn't move. 
to bronze my skin. I'm using this Laura Mercier bronzer in the shade 02. It's one of my favorite bronzers. This video was filmed in July, so I was really white. It's a light bronzer that I love to use when I am very fair or on winter. And I really love it because it's very natural and it's not too warm. It's this lovely, lovely tan without being too orange or too strong. So that's why I really love it. And to add a little bit of peach bronze effect on my cheeks, I'm using this Laura Mercier blush in the shade Winter Bloom. So it's really my bronzy blush that I love to use when I want um, tan and bronze cheeks. Lots of Parisian or French women don't use a pink blush. They love to use a terracotta, which is a bronzer, or a um, peach bronze blush that they use as a bronzer and as a blush. So I love makeup, so I'm using both. But this is exactly the kind of blush that French girl can love. To add some highlight on my cheekbones, I'm using this Estee Lauder and Violette Soft Glue La Rose. So it's a, it's a creamy texture. That's why I really love it because it's very subtle, very chic, very transparent. Uh, but we can see it. Moving to lipstick to finish this look, I'm using the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy in the shade Poesy. So as Violette said, it's the perfect pink for everyone and this is very true. <laughs> I really love uh, this uh, pink because it's not too Barbie pink in my opinion. It's still natural and on the nude side I would say. And I really um, push the formula on my lips and after I will work it just with my fingers to have a natural um, look on my lips. I don't want to shape a bold shape on my lips. I prefer to play with my finger to have really this natural baby pink lips. And this is the final look. So as you could see, uh, I wanted to play with glitters and with colors today. You can play with makeup. There is so many colors, so many formulas, so many glitters uh, on the market that you really can play with them for a party, for a night, or even on an everyday basis. You know, it's like a heels or it's like a red lipsticks. If you are confident with it, it will look great on you all day long. So I really, really hope you enjoy this makeup video. Don't hesitate to let me know what you think about this makeup look. And don't hesitate to let me know if you tried this uh, Violet and Estee Lauder collection, this Poppy Sauvage collection. It was a big hit and a big win for me. I really love her palette. I really use this eyeshadow palette a lot. And I also love um, this soft glow lip and cheek product that I got not when I did my first video, but just after, because everyone was talking about it. I have a combination skin, so I thought mm, maybe not for me, but on the top of my cheekbones, it's a really lovely, subtle highlighter, so I don't regret my choice. I really always grab this highlighter when I'm doing my makeup. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.